Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another McFarlane Toys unboxing and review video. Now today, following on from the retro wave of Batman figures, we're going to be taking a look at none other than the Batmobile itself from the Batman classic TV series as well as the Batcave diorama. Now I personally wasn't a massive fan of the figures, but it remains to be seen whether or not I like the vehicle plus the diorama all together to make one complete set. Now I got mine from toyswonderland.com. Link for that is of course down in the description below and they do have 12 month installment plans plus an awesome reward system. What we are going to do now though is get the box for the Batcave diorama lying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. Here of course we have the box art for the Batcave diorama. Now the only reason why we are starting with this first is because it has to be fully assembled in order to house the Batmobile inside it, so we will do that in just a second. Up the front we have a massive open window showcasing the various components that will make up the Batcave, an image of Batman on the side, and of course a bunch more pictures on the back showing what it looks like fully assembled. Now this is my first time ever owning one of these playset style diorama pieces, so I am quite curious as to how it's going to connect together, what the quality is going to be like, and how the figures are going to look like inside it. Right off the top here we do have a tray with the various little panels and computer screens. Now before we assemble this I do want to unbox the Batmobile, so Let's make that happen. And here we have the Batmobile itself. Now I personally am not a huge fan of this style of packaging, where it's an open area so you can literally touch the car itself and you kind of have to dismantle the box to get the car out here. Nevertheless, you can get a pretty good view of the Batmobile. You do have on the back a bunch of images showcasing the car itself, plus the figures on the inside and the diorama which we just unboxed but I'm pretty sure you'll want to see what this thing looks like out of the box, so... And here we have it. Now I personally am a massive fan of this design for the Batmobile. I just love the way it looks and it works very well in plastic format. Now one thing right off the bat that I do have to kind of complain about is how it feels in hand. This thing weighs absolutely nothing. It's literally a hollow plastic shell. It's all unpainted black plastic. You can see it's picking up fingerprints like a champ. It does have some great red panel lining all around, but other than that, there's pretty much no paint to speak of. I wouldn't have minded a little bit of chrome up the back here for the exhausts, or even around here for the big booster up the back, and down here on the rims, but it's all unpainted grey plastic. Now I'm not exactly sure what McFarlane were going for here. Were they going for the best, most accurate version? I don't think so because this definitely isn't it. People were saying that the Mattel version is far superior. I personally don't know if that's the case because I don't own that version. This being the only one that I own, yes, I am satisfied with it, but not as a piece that I'll be regularly picking up and popping the figures in and out of. This to me is just a really nice background slash diorama piece to put inside the Batcave. Honestly, the 1.6 scale Jazz Inc version, which is far more expensive but far superior, to me is the way to go. Unless you are limited on space, then this will definitely be a great option for you, but if they end up making a 1.12 version, I think it definitely will trump this one. Either way, on the inside you do have some sculpted in details with the various dials and shift levers and even a little fire extinguisher back there, but none of it is painted. It's all just sculpted plastic. I do like the sculpt to the seats, there's a little bit of texture in there, kind of meant to replicate a leathery look, and they are slightly more shiny than the rest of the car. Overall though, yes, it does look like the 1966 Batmobile if you just have it sitting there in your display, but overall, so far, I'm not necessarily loving it. For those wondering, yes, of course, you can put Batman and Robin in the Batmobile. Now, they do stick up a little bit further than some people were potentially wanting them to. They do sit a little bit higher than their bubble windshield, 
but for me, it works. They do fit in there, they're not overly big, they're not overly small. This car supposedly is slightly underscaled, but for me, this just works. It does the job, it'll sit nicely in the Batcave diorama, and yes, the figures can go inside. Just before we bring out the car and place it in the diorama to complete the video, I thought it might be worthwhile to take a look at some of the components that make up the set. Now, these are modular, so you can place them pretty much wherever you like, but I followed the image on the back of the box just so I could get as close to accurate as possible. Now, these are all just hollow plastic shells, but from the front, they look great. They are sculpted nicely, there are a bunch of stickers that are already applied out of the box. That is definitely a good thing. You don't have to go about making sure everything is lined up properly, all of these stickers are really nicely done. You do of course have the BAT computer, you have a filing cabinet with some international and US and Canada crime files, you also have this one right here that says navigational aid. You also get some duplicates back here with these two big ones with these gold spirals up on top, a very interesting look and they make for great set dressing. Then of course we do have this memory bank. None of this again is sculpted in, all of these stickers are literally just that, stickers. You do have some parts and pieces that have been sculpted on this one, but it's just a hollow facade. Overall though, I'm honestly not disliking this thing as much as I thought I was going to, because it does what it says in the tin. It's literally a Batcave diorama. Yes, all of the bits and pieces are hollow, but they get the job done. They sit there in the background and look the part. You also have two of these with kind of like a radar sensor up the top. Now the back wall of the Batcave is also sculpted and painted quite nicely to look like stone or rock. After all, this is the Batcave, so that makes total sense. There is a dry brush over the top and also a little bit of a wash in the crevices just to bring out that sculpted in detail. And then we also have the central atomic pile, as it says there. There are a bunch of stickers here and you do have to connect all of the various railings. Now I'm pretty sure you'll want to see the Batmobile in this diorama as much as I do, so let's take a closer look. Finally, here we have it, fully assembled, the Batmobile inside the Batcave, and yeah, I think I'm starting to get it now. The figures don't need to be as articulated as some of the modern figures potentially, because they're just sitting in the car, you're not going to be doing a ton with them, and this definitely is a centerpiece. I mean, Yes, it is all just a bunch of facades and unpainted pieces of plastic, but when you bring the entire thing together, the stickers look really good, the car itself fits in perfectly, and you do have a bunch more modules if you want to place them in front of the car to create a pretty seamless looking diorama. Now, I do wish there was a little bit more involved with the floor other than just an orange circle, but it still works. It ties the entire thing together very, very nicely. Now, this isn't my favorite 112 scale thing that I own by any means, but it's still a very impressive set. If you are a fan of the classic 66 Batman TV series, honestly, you could do a lot worse in terms of honoring the show in your display than this set right here. Yes, you could just simply pick up the Batcave diorama and place the Mattel figures and their car in there, that would work as well, but for me, I'm really liking the way this looks. Now, if you would like to pick this up, it is available from toyswandland.com. I have included the links down in the description below, and they do have 12 month installment plans if you are a fan of paying off your figures, or in this instance, your diorama playsets over time. Also, while you're down there, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.